Then all I gotta do now is just whip out my good old trusty nuclear reactor and then just find out where I put all of the paint canes. Alright, so I think this is the last bucket of paint. It looks so good already and that was just one bottle. Then we just got... 5 million to go. We're done messing around. Today's the day that we're gonna be painting the world's most expensive painting. We've done the Bob Ross tutorials, we've done the crazy, stupid stuff. So when I posted the last episode of Such Art, someone told me that I, apparently I can use this flamethrower from hell on spray canes with interesting results. And yeah, I had a lot of spray canes lying around in our workshop here. And the fact that we can do this got me thinking. Instead of spending so much time just trying to paint one painting at a time, why not just explode a bunch of canes and then paint four canvases at a time? So I want to start out doing this before before we all move on to the greatest project yet, which is going to be the biggest canvas that we can possibly find. And we're going to explode so much spray can on there that this entire studio is just going to end up as one big dirty bomb in space that's going to take out whatever is left of civilization in here. Like there are a few people out there as you can see. Okay, so let's get started. I feel like we should start with a bit of red. It's always nice to have some red here, sort of as the base layer of paint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just every bit as violent as you would think it is. And I think we're gonna put the pink one here. Then the upper canvas up there is gonna get some too. Oh, yes, it did indeed. Oh, look at the floor. It's so pretty. Wait, I wonder, can we use that now? Like, is this on my... Oh, wow, it is. Oh, that's very handy. Nice. I like that. Let's get moving. So the next one we're gonna grab is... No, actually, the next one we're gonna grab is the blue here. Let's blow that one up first. I'm not sure if I'm gonna blow up the light of the back uh, dark one, but yeah, we just... Okay, that was the dark one. I'm also very unsure if the spots we can see underneath here, if we can actually dig out the old paint from that or if it's just eternally gonna be blue now because of what we just did. I like the color in this one over here. That's a nice look we got going. Let's blow up some more paint canes. Wait, actually, what if we just grab this and remove it just a little bit? Yeah, okay, that was still the same result. I feel like I'm painting my workshop more than I'm actually painting the pictures. I wonder how many canvases we can paint at once doing this. I don't know what's with this yellow one here, but I feel like I've been burning this thing forever. It's glowing, so it should be hot. It's just not blowing up. Okay, there's actually something wrong with this bottle. This is trap. Oh, God, okay, there it goes. Right. Now we just gotta see the final results. What do we have? So they're just about as terrible as I expected. The only one that actually... <laughs> I can't believe that this didn't work more, but the only one that actually just to some extent looks okay is this one over here. It has a bit of different colors on it. I don't know. I feel like we should just, you know, we can save this. I'm pretty sure we're just going to buy this one and blow this one up. Okay. I don't know why this is not blown up. Okay. I think it's glowing now. That's, ooh, there it goes. I don't know how, but not a single piece of paint was hit by that. Look at this stuff. There's splatters all over the place. How did this not work? Oh god, I just burned it. I swear to god, that was that was not my intention. Okay, instead, I'm gonna try some strategic placement here. So I just put one there, one there, one there, and... Oh, I knocked this one over. So we're gonna blow this one up first. How is that even possible? How did they not get affected? Oh, it actually worked over here. Look at this. Oh, that's very good. Let's send it to the market. Yeah, 100 bucks. That'll be fine. This one over here, looking pretty good too. I feel like we can easily charge 400 for that one. Look at that. We finally got some paint on here. Very happy. Oh, hold up. We can just... Now that is beautiful. Let's get that one out of here as well. All right, that should be just about it. Uh, then all I got to do now is just whip out my good old trusty nuclear reactor and then just find out where I put all of the paint canes. They're in here somewhere. I don't know why all of this is falling over all of a sudden, but I'm hoping, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that this works. Oh, there we go. That's one. Good. We got another one glowing down there. And then I feel like this is just what we're going to do. We're just going to keep on doing this until we exploded all of them. I was just about to say that I think we have more paint cans in here, but they kind of just rolled over here. I don't know if it's the explosions causing this. I do see them down here, though. We should be able to hit them. Right, so I think that was the last of them. At least I hope. Well, our workshop is looking better than ever. <laughs> it's so colorful. It's so good. Okay, let's see what we got. First of all, let's just get rid of this one. There. Our old paintings are slowly starting to sell now. And okay, how about we divide them into things like into different prize pools? So the 50 ones are going to be here. Actually, I quite like this one. It's it's kind of neat. Let's make this a 100 pile. This one looks like vomit. So we're just going to put that to the 50. That's pretty ugly as well. I would say that this is ugly, but it's honestly quite a nifty blue color. So we're just going to put that there. We got this one. Oh, that one is nice. That's going to be like a 200 bucks one. Uh, looks like vomit too. I love it how this actually worked. Let's go see if we can find some. Oh my god. Okay, look at this one. This one is actually so sick. That's gonna be like 400. That's all the way up there. 
So it's this one. I like these colors. They're pretty good. Oh, don't get stuck there now. Let's put that there. Over here, this looks like an absolutely minimum effort, which is the minimalist style. So that's going to be super expensive too. Oh, and this one is so cool as well. Let's just get it under some proper light here. That is that is actually kind of sick too. Oh, that's expensive as well. I do have, love it how it's pretty complementary colors that stayed onto the canvas. It's like, look at this one. This green and whatever that color is looks pretty dope too. Oh my god, this is the biggest, most brilliant thing I think I have ever done in any game. And this one we accidentally burned, so that's gonna go into the vomit pile. Oh, that is nice too. Okay, this one I really like. We gotta hang this on a wall. We have to keep this one. There we go. That is so beautiful. Okay, cool. Right, what do we have here? That's another $100 one. And well, since we just painted 500 pictures in one, then I might as well just go see if we have any requests that would like to buy any of these that match their... Oh god, there's a lot of emails here. Pet that brush down right now and listen to me i've sent you a package it's a package of it's a robot uh, okay does what what is this does the divine exist tree berries of course uh, with the superior species the chosen species maybe but it's not a gift like i always thought no it is up to us i didn't get it your future for free my name is Olga. i practice remote clairvoyance i can i'll tell you your future oh that's cool Let's go for it. Koki Koki wants something again. Oh, he's the one who sent us this. Landscape of Earth with salt water. I think I can do that. Any kind of canvas, any kind of canvas. Okay, so he wanted an Earth canvas. I feel like this is it. This is just algae infested salt water. It's okay. God dang it, I cannot see a thing here. Okay, we have to find the sponge because I need to clean the screen here. Otherwise, we can't see anything. I just don't know where I put the sponge, but I think it's up here. Oh, there it is. Just get down here. Dip this in the water. Oh, there she is. Oh, whoops. I ruined a bit of his painting, but I'm sure that's fine. So, Koki Koki. And then I forgot what the other guy wanted, but I'm just going to give him this. Or, you know what? Since we're trading for things, let's just give him one from the vomit pile. There we are. He's going to be happy with that one. Auger. What did you give us? Oh, the future. Right. I don't believe in that crap anyway, so he's just going to get that picture. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> oh, we have two big packages. That's so cool. Let's see what it is. One of them should be a robot. I'm quite certain that this is the one. What the hell are you? I feel like we're supposed to press that button right there. And then what do you do? Oh, I think I can talk to it. I have no idea what that is. Let's just go look at the other package. My God, that is big. Oh, wow. Am I supposed to know what this is? Looks like a big knob, but that's about it. We're going to put that right there. That's a good position for it. At first, I felt like it looked pretty good when this place was completely painted. But now it kind of stressing me out, not going to lie. Three commissions is all we can take. So we have so many commissions now. Uh, they don't need to know that I have my vomit pile over here that I can just send them. But that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So you're going to get that one. You're going to get that one. And all of a sudden, I turned my art business into quantity over quality. But apparently, this is the way to go. We got so many orders to go through that I wouldn't be able to go through otherwise. So they're just going to get those. Lovely. Okay, so I don't know if this is an order or not. And that's also what this answer suggests. So... A friendly word, Daphne. I'm told you're the promising human talent and emerging figure in the post-autonomous movement. Okay. And I wonder, how can anyone compare your duelings with... Oh, we just grew our fame. We're now noticed. That's very good. So I... F I think we got our first hater, maybe. Oh, I want to go with the most care and responsibility that I can. You're just so jealous. I like that one. I've read your art. I see great tension in your cosmic self. Your inner karma is in doubt. There's so much uncertainty. But I also see light at the end of the tunnel. Very strong light. A very binding light. It burns. Could it be responsibility? A decision to make? That is the most the least motivating I think I've ever heard. That is so awesome though. Okay, these guys want a picture for the church, so sure thing. I'm honestly just gonna keep on sending out these. I don't see why we wouldn't. And we just have all of these that we need, need to post for sale as well. And then I honestly just want to see my retirement plan work itself out. So between all of the just playing with explosives, well, we have to actually also do some of our commissions here. So let's just go take a look at them again, because honestly, I completely forgot what they were. We also soon have to get start. Oh my God, the amount of emails from us adding things to the marketplace. That was that's surely going to bring in some money. But we're going to have to go to my biggest, the most expensive painting yet. Just after we finish these two current commissions. So we've got Mitha here. She like night scenery, something natural with a beautiful moon. Hey, everything else is calm and restful. Oh yeah, I know exactly what we're going to do here. All right, let's get a big canvas up here. And then I'm going to be buying this very, very dark gray paint here. We're going to start by just filling out the entire canvas with that thing. Where did I put that one? There it is. Perfect. There it is. And then I'm going to be looking for my stencils over here. This one. 
in particular. I would have loved it if we had like a bigger stencil, but we don't. So we're just going to have to work with this one. I'm sure that's fine. So we're going to be starting just with a white base here. Okay, there we are. That's the moon. And then, okay, okay, okay. And then we just, we need like a nifty line here. All right, I think that should be it. Let's just get rid of that one. And we remove the stencil. Bam, there it is. That's the moon. It looks awful. I'm sure we can work with the result, though. Let's just get rid of all of this stuff here that we messed up just a little bit. Okay, so I did kind of ruin it with the spray paint, but I'm sure we'll we'll be able to fix that. So we just got to get rid of this one. Then I want to go down. Oh, God. Okay, that was a terrible mistake. We're just going to be spray painting this on here to make it look like a night sky. All we just have to do now, and I think, again, I've seen this on YouTube. Okay, so I know what I'm doing. And it ended up as an emoji challenge. How cool is this? Okay. <laughs> just so stupid. <laughs> I think I'm all the way down. I just don't feel like I am. Wait, is the robot stuck underneath there or something? No, it's not. Right. Send painting. This was to Mitha. We still can't really get down. I have to figure out what's stuck in here. So Martin wanted a large canvas as well, and he wanted humanity. He wanted peak humanity. Everything that we're, we stand for. So I thought to myself, watch mo what's more peak humanity than anything else? And the only thing that could really come to my mind is just guns. It's guns and it's shooting at stuff. That's all you ever hear about on the news. That's more than likely also the reason that we're stuck in space now. We're not on Earth anymore. So this just got all too much poetic, but I'm sure he's going to be happy about his painting. Finish it off with a bit of red my god what a beauty let's get that sent to him lovely so we just fixed all of those commissions just like that Haley is happy with her painting she doesn't know what to put it though that's okay the app has been installed i do not know what like do i have to do something here we can like buy an incinerator over here for small and medium objects so i don't know if that's what they meant if we just leave the robot there Yeah, it's still alive. So the thing that I talked about at the beginning, my most anticipated work ever. I'm gonna need a whole bunch of bottles for this. So I'm just gonna buy all of them and probably more than that. I also have some of these spare ones here that we bought before. We don't need those either anymore. Wait, I wonder how cool would it be if we could heat the bucket and then they would all just start exploding. I just want to make sure. No, nope, none of them are heated. That's always something. Let's just get some more of these. I think we can carry more before we go over there. I do also slowly start feeling like this is a very, very bad idea, but I'm sure this is going to end well. All right, so I think this is the last bucket of paint. Let's just <laughs> empty that one out into the rest of them. And the secret to this insanely expensive plant. Wow. Painting. It's going to be a plant, okay? Look at this. We got the canvas coming up now. Just going to start by rolling up just around here. And yeah, let's just get started. So this is going to take absolutely forever, but I'm very, very comfortable that we're going to be getting a nice result here. Look at that. It looks so good already. And that was just one bottle. Then we just got five million to go. I think we just about made it halfway through. I'm just going to be grabbing some of these. See if we can just cover up a nice pattern here and make this look good. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just going to put those there. And then we're going to continue. All right. You ready for the big reveal? Judging by the looks of our workshop here, this has been quite intense. And it was. But I can honestly say that I'm just so proud of my latest work. So there she is. Look at that thing. <laughs> Oh, it's so dumb. I went a bit crazy with the stencils and stuff. And yeah, this is what we ended up with. I'm honestly quite happy about this. I heard that NFTs and stuff like that is a new thing. So maybe I should, I don't know, claim a digital copyright of this and sell it online. If anyone wants to buy this for like, I don't know, 30k and be my guest. I'll put it up for sale. I don't know where. Just email me if you want to buy it. Okay. <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching today's episode of such out i had so much fun just blowing up all sorts of things today and i really feel like we learned how to take art to the next level in this episode until next time stay safe and bye bye oh hey there thank you for watching my video if you enjoyed it you can actually subscribe just down below me and over to my right you can watch even more of my content hey what an offer right go do it now please